Hello everyone, welcome to the part one of the project Teltak. First of all, uh, I'm sorry it took so long. Yeah, it's summer, so I was uh, on vacation. That is why it took so long, so I hope that's okay. Anyway, I finally managed to finish the model for the Teltak, both uh, in the retractable version and in the simplified version that doesn't move at all. So, in today's video, I would like to showcase you the model, how it fits together, and uh, how it will be, well, assembled. I would like to uh, remind you uh, that I personally would do only this version with uh, retractable fins, though I will be uh, also publishing the non-retractable version, the static one, but bear in mind that I won't print that one myself so uh, yeah there may be some issues but i don't think uh, that that will be the case but i will i just want to mention that anyway so this is uh, the re model itself uh, and uh, as you can see it's uh, once again divided into several sub assemblies so I guess we will now go through each and every one of them. So first subassembly is the front and the front basically is this. Yeah, we have this one big piece to 10 by 10 uh, pins bottom part and then the sides because as you can see they will be inserted through here and then they will move inside and that's it that is the front part as you can see here we have a pegs and that will be for the adjacent part Yeah, now we have the back and that once again consists of several pieces. Now here um, one disclaimer, basically this entire piece could be printed as one solid piece. Uh, I originally um, wanted to do it like that, but then the printing time would be over 34 hours. And I really don't like to do such a long print. I know that there are some that don't really care about it. I I do. I don't really like those uh, do, those uh, long prints. So that is why I divided it into uh, side uh, two sides and top. And basically I added uh, two holes with pegs and the top part will have adjacent holes for the pegs so it will click together plus uh, there is also peg in the side so or pin inside so uh, it should hold together however the area around here won't be uh, it, th there will be nothing uh, connecting the two pieces so I'm actually thinking about using glue to actually glue it together because as I said this was originally supposed to be just one piece so yeah I am uh, generally against using glue but in this particular case I don't think I'm simply not sure uh, if without it it would be sturdy enough so I think that here I will use some glue Obviously, the inside will have to have the support material. Okay, another piece is the front bay. I call it bay, but well, it's not really. And there is nothing uh, sp special about it. Parallelogram uh, with 5 by 15 pins. Those are used uh, in the entire uh, project. And then the entire piece with two pegs that will go inside those two holes. Ok, 
Okay, next we have the back piece. And once again, parallelogram with those same pins here as well. Uh, here we have a hinge, so it should all work very nicely. Plus, uh, one thing that uh, I added is this filling basically, uh, because I made a hole here for the pedestal. Uh, if you remember, I will show it uh, again in this video. I made a pedestal for the non moving Teltac with the ring transport and uh, sand, and this will be compatible with it. So, uh, even this version of Teltac could uh, be attached to it and but if i don't want to use it then there will be this filler okay so that's that's this part and obviously here we have to attach it with these two pins okay I will open all because now we will move to the wings yeah and here we have the wing assembly so we have this piece of wing with those uh, lines, I, I I don't know how to how to how to call these these parts. Anyway, here we have the pins, and now this secondary wing, this one, is inserted into this groove, and uh, we have this stopper that goes inside to. Uh, prevent uh, the secondary wing from falling out of the groove so it can move so it can move only in this groove and there is this small piece that is simply on hinge and will retract inside and that's it and of course, also we need two pins here. So, however, there will be one problem, and that's with this pin. You see, the uh, free space between those two parts is only 10 millimeters, and the pin is actually 15 millimeters. So, in order to get it there, you will have to, or I will have to, put it through here. So. It, uh, without this part and to simply push it all the way out and yeah that that is a very bad design i'm fully aware of that though i was really limited by the lack of free space so i in the end decided i will go with this so hopefully it will be okay anyway then we have the second wing wing which is the same only mirrored so the same exacting as before with the joints and that's that's basically it though uh, the last thing is as you can see here we have the three holes and those are for the staff cannons that if you don't like don't have to be there but you can always add them and this is how the model will work but then uh, i also have the simplified version which is this and this is the pedestal i was talking about and this is as you can see um, compatible with the uh, retractable delta but uh, when it comes to uh, this one I decided to divide it into three pieces so uh, 
we have one piece with quite a lot of holes for the 10 by 10 pegs. So if I use, there will be all those uh, 10 by 10 joints. The second half with corresponding holes. And then as you can see here, we have another set of holes for another uh, set of pegs and we have the front. So basically the idea is that it will be printed like this. Now you don't have to use any support material and the idea here is to print it like this. And that way, because of the angle, I don't think that there will be any need for support material here uh, as well, though I'm not sure about that. And finally, the pedestal. And there's nothing really special about it. It's representing some kind of sand or desert and the ring transporter and that's it okay so that is it so this is how the model actually looks and this is how I will proceed and try to print it out hopefully everything work works as I intended I intended not really sure about this area we will see okay so that's it for for this part i uh, hope you enjoyed it and we will see each other on the next episode okay have a nice day and bye bye